Oh, guys, let's be real. Uh, this is not a typical uh, traditional hypermarket or supermarket as I'm used to show you. It's a kind of maybe storehouse. But I believe your dreams must come true. Da -da 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 -da. Today <laughs> I'm going to show you the typical Russian hypermarket. Truly speaking, this is the first time I'm here, and and I don't I don't I don't know where to go. But yeah, my friends told me prices here are really nice, and let's compare to German chains and French chains. Not bad, not bad. Great deal of different sections. And let's get started. My dear viewers, I'm so happy to see you again. My name is Marina. And today I'm going to invite you to make a review of Russian hypermarkets chain. It's Lenta. And there are more than 250 hypermarkets in Russia. And the first one was opened 30 years ago. Uh, it's a surprise for me because I didn't expect that it looks like a warehouse, a storehouse, uh, not a traditional globus or perikryostak or French chain Ashan. Uh, but I hope we'll find something interesting together with you. Okay, let's do it. And this hypermarket Lenta works 24 hours every day without any breaks and without weekends. After working day I'm always hungry and when I'm hungry I'm angry. And it's nice to see that I can eat it all. <laughs> and it's um, uh, yeah, it's Russian chocolate breakfast. It's similar to yeah, it's similar to Nesquik, but I hope it's better. Uh, можно мне, да, чуть-чуть попробовать? Вы с молоком делаете? Ага. Uh -huh. I asked to add milk for me. And I will eat it right now. It's not breakfast time, it's evening time. Спасибо. Just imagine that I'm a kid. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Chocolate things with milk. Hmm. I like to eat in supermarkets. You know about that. Now I'm relaxed and kind hearted. Mm, it's always a problem for me what to start with. Uh, I think today. I'm going to start with review of fresh baked bread. What do you think? Oh, thanks God, I don't drink alcohol, but but here I can see wonderful strawberry and chocolate cream liqueurs from it is Austria, liqueur from Austria, and this is what. Herbal elixir. Тоже из Австрии. Again, Austria. <laughs> That's great. On the way to bread section, I'm passing by excellent kids, Soviet kids dessert. This is a kind of corn, uh, very sweet and and tender and. <laughs> it reminds me of my childhood. Not this, not popcorn. But, but this one. Soviet kids. Help me to explain our friends what is this. Hmm? So bread section is not so big, but they have their own bakery. Uh, I hope all this bread is um, is fresh 
Can I squeeze a little bit? Yes, rather, rather good, rather fresh. And you see they cook it here, bake it here in, in the oven. <gasps> wow, what is this? It looks fantastic. Uh, it's made from uh, pistachios and uh, cherry and cottage cheese. Mm. And you see, price is rather low. It's um, uh, 500, approximately 500 rubles for one kilo. My favorite, my favorite strawberry pie. It's a kind of cheesecake and it's only 60 rubles for 100 grams. It's about um, maybe $7 for one kilo. And traditional Russian pies with, uh, with different berries. Oh my God, and with lemon. And with raspberry and apples and prices are really low you see um, these are all prices for 100 grams so it's um, uh, maybe I don't know it's better for me to count for one kilo so uh, 300 rubles for one kilo it's about three and a half dollars for one kilo amazing prices what do you think wow what i see an open kitchen here wonderful big big pancakes а вы их с начинкой продаете или как с маслом это с маслом я делаю а сколько стоят такие 260 rubles for one kilo of pancakes. Not one piece, one kilo. Very nice section of ready to eat food. Looks good. And I love these prices. Typical Russian chain with low, low prices. For example, price for rice with vegetables, ready to eat rice, 12 rubles. 12 rubles uh, is about maybe 18 cents for 100 grams. A lot of dishes from traditional Russian cuisine. For example, holodets. It's um, meat and uh, we boil this meat for 8 or 10 hours. You know that gas in Russia is very cheap. Uh, and we can do it, we can cook it. And it's with the garlic and uh, herbs and a lot of meat. It's like a gelé. I don't like this grocery store. No degustations here. Like in Globus. I'm a human after all, first of all. <laughs> and I'm hungry. Of course, it was a joke, <laughs> my dear viewers. This grocery store is, is impressive. It's really abundant and uh, the prices are, are really nice. Let's check something, for example. Okay, discount, oh, 50%. You see? This is very nice trademark, Remit. And uh, this is smoked uh, sausage, 300 grams for, for $2. 
$2.20. Um, That's all. For sure, this hypermarket Lenta um, is not so fashionable and uh, it doesn't look well designed. No, it's something like that. But if you want to buy cheaper, you can come here and a great deal of discounts. You see? Minus 34%, minus 31%. If you like fresh, fresh fish, you may buy very good trout for 1,200 rubles for one kilo. Mm, it's not cheap, but trout is, is really very nice. 1,200 1, rubles is about maybe $15. You know, my dear viewers, that I love fish and mostly trout, Karelian trout. This one, 600 rubles for one kilo, but I have it at home. Uh, I'm not going to buy it today, but price is, is good. And what do you think about eating salty herring with uh, fresh potato? An onion and rye bread. Hmm? Ah, my mouth is watering. Long story short, what kind of salty herring would you choose hmm? for today? I think sauce. Those, yes, for 280 rubles for one kilo, it's about three dollars. A wonderful, wonderful salty herring. And our beloved section, section of caviar and vodka. It's together, I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe caviar is the best snack for drinking vodka. And I'd like to show you something very exciting. Can you see the price for one caviar with discount 50%? It's 200 rubles for one, um, one can of caviar, uh, 100 grams or 90 grams, uh, but 200 rubles for today's rate of exchange is two and a half dollars for red caviar guys mm, i'm beginning to love to adore this lenta hypermarket you see again discount uh, and this is price for one kilo of uh, king prawns of course frozen king prawns but can you count 470 rubles in dollars it's five dollars. Five dollars for one kilo of king prawns. Hmm? And wonderful, wonderful, as usual, wonderful section of fresh fruit and vegetables. I've heard that there are some problems with onion in uh, several countries, Philippines or something, I don't remember exactly. But you're welcome to Russia and uh, you can buy onion for uh, 50 cents and less for one kilo, 50 cents. Very good onion, I think so. And uh, what's happening with uh, tomatoes in uh, Great Britain? My subscribers told me it's something awful. I don't feel shortage of tomatoes. Uh, different kinds and uh, varieties and different prices. 
Of course, prices for tomatoes and cucumbers are not low because it's not a season. It's only the beginning of March. The cheapest uh, tomatoes uh, cost 180 rubles. It's uh, two dollars, maybe two dollars thirty cents. Mm, what I do, I smell. No, no smell of tomatoes. The smell of something plastic, maybe. But there is a great choice. I know exactly that these tomatoes are tomatoes. Real tomatoes. And price for pears is also joyful with discount 140 rubles, less than two dollars for one kilo. And these pears are really, oh, have a look, wonderful shape. <laughs> It's really tasty. And what about apples? So I think the cheapest apples cost 67 rubles. Not beautiful, but oh yes, not beautiful. <laughs> but if you need apples for apple pie, maybe you can buy it. It's very cheap. As for me, I buy uh, lettuce every day. It's good for stomach and I, I love it. And good for mood. <laughs> and uh, the price is similar. Like everywhere, 100 rubles for a big package. It's enough for two days. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was looking for eggs and have a look. Where am I? <laughs> okay, let me show you. Wines. I, I have no idea what to comment. Prices. Prices are different from uh, 3 to maybe 10 dollars and more. What's happened? Ugh. And uh, cheap wines from Georgia. Oh, have you heard about Georgia news these two days? I'm not sure they take care about their wine now. And uh, what else? Port wine from Portugal. I remember these bottles. I bought the same um, port wine for my friends in uh, Lisboa for six euro. I remember, and here is uh, one thousand rubles. Uh, it's about um, twelve dollars. Double price. To tell you the truth, I, I'm not impressed, of course, because I don't like um, grocery stores uh, looking like storehouses. And a lot of boxes. Maybe prices here are cheaper. Of course cheaper, <laughs> and of course with discounts, because uh, you can find such price for olives, 90 rubles, it's about $1.10. Nowhere, nowhere. Everywhere is more expensive. But you see, it's not beautiful and... Uh, I'm not so emotional today as usual. If you have noticed that, <laughs> I don't say, oh, oh yeah, fantastic. Because 
I'm quiet and um, hmm, vodka with discount. 300 rubles. It's, um, I think, uh, four dollars for half a liter. I don't know whether it's good or not. Uh, Oh, let's see. Uh, sunflower oils. Oh, of course. Of course. 76 rubles. Only one dollar for approximately one liter of sunflower oil. And I, if we find something better, because I don't know this trademark. Uh, maybe this, as usual, golden seed. But discount, it's 110 rubles, yeah, less than in other uh, grocery stores. What's here? Sugar, sauces, spices. So, of course, everything you need, but I don't feel good here. And uh, do you see my shopping cart? <laughs> one red caviar and one lettuce. That's all. That's all. Truth be told, I want to go home with my caviar and lettuce. But first, I'd like to show you this um, shopping center from outside. It looks so bright and so, so joyful. You'll see now. Mm, the entire building is a, a shopping center and it's so bright and joyful. I'm on the snow, it's much, my dear friends, but of course, it doesn't look like much. It's much in Russia, in Moscow, is a winter month. But I want you to have a look at this uh, pretty new uh, district of Moscow. It's not the center, it's uh, uh, the outskirt, but it looks very nice. Despite of snow and... Uh, and this is... Uh, it, it looks like treasure here, yes? Mmm, traditional Russian salty cabbage and tomatoes and cucumbers and ginger. I think I need one. And here is my link to the videos of the best Russian markets. <laughs> 